그럴 수 있죠. 너무 가까워서 놓쳤을 거예요. 정말 이상하네요. 너무 가까우면 안 보일 수 있어요. This is Stephen Yun, perhaps best known for playing Glenn Ree on AMC's The Walking Dead. But more recently, Stephen's gotten some international attention working with renowned Korean filmmakers on films like Okja, Burning, and Minari. Stephen was born in Korea, but grew up in Michigan, where he eventually graduated with a bachelor's degree in psychology. But he had his heart set on other things, eventually joining Second City in Chicago and moving to LA, where he got bit parts here and there, like Sheldon's former roommate on an episode of The Big Bang Theory. Run away, dude. <laughs> and in the indie comedy Jerry, he got to work with the great Doug Jones, out of prosthetics and makeup for once. Nice get up, dude. I didn't know you rocked. Oh yeah, I, I rock hard. Then in 2009, Stephen auditioned for an ABC pilot, but was crushed when he didn't get the part. Well, that turned out to be a good thing, since it opened him up to audition for the part of Glenn, a nerdy, resourceful survivor of a zombie apocalypse in The Walking Dead. Nice moves there, Clint Eastwood. You the new sheriff? One of the great joys of watching Steven in this show was seeing Glenn gradually change through his experiences, from a plucky comic relief character to a complete badass hero in Rick's group of survivors. It's certainly a shame that Glenn ended up on the wrong side of Negan's bat, but there were plenty more opportunities for Steven post Walking Dead. In addition to appearing as a mysterious traveler in an episode of Jordan Peele's reboot of The Twilight Zone, he's done a lot of voiceover work in kids' shows, like Voltron Legendary Defender. If you leave, we can't form Voltron. And Guillermo del Toro's Tales of Arcadia trilogy. You're asking for a beating? But Steven's breakthrough into Korean films brought some amazing performances. In Bong Joon-ho's Okja, he played a fervent animal rights activist on a mission to liberate a genetically modified super pig. In the psychological thriller Burning, he added subtle layers of malevolence as an enigmatic rich guy in Korea who may or may not be a serial killer. And more recently, in Minari, he played a Korean immigrant starting a new life with his family in 1980s Arkansas. We fight! As an actor, it isn't easy to reinvent yourself, especially when you're best known for one particular fan-favorite character on one of the most successful TV shows of all time. But with Steven Yeun's more recent work, he's done just that and more. 